the Eric Adams Im- immigrant stuff is really wild to me because yeah. Eric, so, you know, the mayors of, or the, was it mayor, the governors of Texas and Arizona are putting immigrants that come into the country illegally on these buses and shipping them to New York and DC. Okay. Eric Adams isn't offering any pushback to this at, at all. If anything, mm. he's he's accepting these people saying, we'll take them. We just need help from the federal government. And I think this is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Eric, you have homeless people sleeping in the streets. Yes. Well, yes. We've talked about this before, about how... Um... We need to take care of our own people. We do yes. have a large, we do have a homeless problem that needs to be addressed. Any extra money should be going to solve that problem mm-hmm. of the homeless. And you out here op- having your hands wide open and your, your arms wide, wide open for people who are not citizens. And once again, I have yet to hear a decent explanation as to why crossing into a, a foreign country illegally is the one crime where no one cares that you broke into some shit. Mm-hmm. You can't do that to a bank. <laughs> you can't do that to a house. But you can somehow just walk into a country illegally and face no threat of jail. None. Not even a little bit. I mean, you do if you get caught. Yeah, no, there's people who are not documented. They be on TV. <laughs> How? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How? <laughs> if I rob the bank, I can't be on TV. <laughs> there's not gonna be no and now we're talking to uh bank bank robber uh Jabot. there's none of that okay i have to hide myself because <laughs> i broke the law and we treat the border as if yeah you know you came in you broke the law but whatever <laughs> i don't like that and i think he's gonna ruin his legacy I think this is going to do him in because does he a have a legacy? Because people... I feel like he's not doing so well right now. He's not doing well, in my opinion. Um, I think crime is still pretty bad. I think a lot of people think that though. Well, is he a popular mayor? I feel like I'm, I'm not sure if he's popular, but I do know this is still kind of a quote unquote early in his term. True. So I do think for some people they were just kind of taking a wait and see approach. So you know what? Let's wait and see if he turns mm, this around. I don't know about yeah. that. No, he's not. That. The crime is like baffling right now. It's crazy. And if he had any balls, he would send that bus back as soon as they pulled him to New York. I'd be waiting at the freeway or whatever, just telling the bus driver. Me and and uh, the governor of Texas would be ping ponging that bus back and forth so much that the driver would, would crash from exhaustion. <laughs> That's what I would do. Stop taking these people in. Do for your city. Do for the people who actually put you here. Your job is to make my life better, Eric Adams, not people who are not citizens. I Yes, I agree that there are a lot of things that need to get worked on here. 100%. And I know that some of you that have this blue, ble- this bleeding heart for immigrants. And let me tell you something. I mean, I do as well, but I can also acknowledge that we have, a, that we have a lot of our own problems that are going unfixed. Un- Addressed, unaddressed, un. I lost my train of thought, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're saying that you you do feel for them as well, but you understand that people who realize that hey, um, we need to solve problems in our country yes. first. I un- we, yeah, I understand why we shouldn't be bringing in busloads of immigrants when there are tons of homeless people in New York City. Yeah, and it's not even homeless people; it's also working people. Because you know, I was reading one interview, and this guy saying that he came here, you know, for jobs, you know, you know, to, to work and to feed his family. And I'm saying to myself, Bernie Sanders, back when he used to have some balls, he used to say that immigration hurt the working man. Mm-hmm. And it does hurt the working man. The reason why it hurts the working man is because you remove his ability to negotiate by bringing in bus loads of labor. Mm-hmm which disproportionately hurts African-American men. We should take precedent over 
foreigners. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I have to say that as a black person that we should take precedent over people who are non citizens. And it ain't just the whole immigration thing with Eric Adam. Is that is all this money we send it to Ukraine for what? Mm-hmm. They have no money for stuff to do, for when they have to do shit here, but they have all this money to send over to Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Kids dumb as hell. All these roads broken, you know, potholes and bridges about to collapse. Infrastructure, infrastructure needs to be repaired. There's a teaching shortage over there in Florida. But you got money for people who aren't Americans in both the people coming into the country yeah. and the Ukrainians who are not, who are not Americans either. Mm-hmm. It's messed up. It's messed up. And I'm going to talk about it because for some reason, nobody wants to talk about it. And mm-hmm. the reason why nobody wants to talk about it is because, and, and this kind of puts me in the, in the listen, I'm starting to agree. What was that dude's name that shot that, that supermarket of black people? What was his name? I don't remember. <laughs> what was his name? I know. <laughs> I don't remember, but I, feel I don't like remember his name. What was his name. I feel like you're about to say something crazy right now, so I'm not. No, even gonna look it up he much. said that the Democrats were letting in immigrants to replace the whites. Here's the thing: they're they're replacing the blacks too, and I keep trying to tell you that. 2020 was the last election where you heard actual. No, it, trust me, it, it it's going to be the last election where there is so much of a emphasis on the black vote. Mm-hmm. you're not going to see the same emphasis in 2024 because black people aren't growing these other demographics are growing <clears throat> and so it is going to be more important for politicians to secure the hispanic vote than it will be to secure the african american the african american um vote What more do I need to say about why this is all messed up? I don't know, Javaya. I think you've made your point. I think you have. I hate I, this I don't country. Dis- I don't disagree with you. You hate this country? I hate this country too, Javaya. I love the country. No, I hate the you already don't. You, you hated it. You, you said it already. <laughs> you said it. It already came out of your mouth. <laughs> That's what I don't like. But yeah, man, like Eric Adams, stop it, man. Like, I, you know, Empathy is important. Empathy is necessary. It comes secondary to competence, to me. Mm-hmm. You can't just want to help people. I want to help people, so I'm going to do something that doesn't make no logical sense or waste a bunch of money. No. Help people once you logically have looked at looked at the landscape and can make a... Help well people with opinion. yes, yeah, yeah. Or when you're in a position to help people without uh casting aside your own people. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I'm telling you, yeah. black people, you guys are gonna feel it. Okay. Y'all could call me a, why a are you cool. saying that like you're not black? <laughs> you're also no, a black person. Because I'm not gonna feel it though. Hey, we why are you not gonna feel it? Are you not a black person? Well, I'm a descendant of African slaves. That's number one. Number two, oh god, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Okay, I am, but the reason why I say the, the the way that I do is because I'm not gonna get caught off guard. Oh, okay, okay, because I know what is taking place as we speak. But black people are oh no, they are still right behind the Democratic Party. They are still out here, you know, celebrating this bullshit as uh student loan forgiveness. They are still out here, you know, like lots we, of people are celebrating student loan forgiveness. We, we, and all of you should be ashamed of yourself. We are really in a bad spot. Oh, finally, he said the word we. I was waiting because he, he does, Dubai doesn't like to use the word we when referring to black people. Like he's not black. No, because I'm not black like y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, You're you know, <laughs> that's what I mean. Um, but yeah, Eric Adams is he's, he's, he's going to ruin himself and okay. and New York City by not sending these people back to the border. 